like, yo, the people that don't know, man, for the people that don't know, man, right now, I got on the line, Tax Stone, man. You already know what it is, man. This is exclusive, man. You're not gonna get these type of conversations nowhere else, man. This is not an interview. Let that be known. This is not an interview. I got Tax Stone on the line, and I'm chopping it up with Thun, you heard? Hey, yo, what's up, bro? What you got going on, man? Talk to him, man. What's up? applause for a man and the joke's gonna come the joke's gonna come it has to come but shout out for zip with the drip people say that he sits on his grandmother's couch and his grandmother's furniture with cat piss stays and all type of shit this is what the youtube streets be saying that's what they say but it's inspirational to see this nigga come from his grandma alleged grandmother's couch alleged rest in peace to his grandmother i ain't no disrespect to now want to swave Sofa loafer type shit. The shit looked like it's worth some a couple of a couple of dollars. God damn it! So round of applause for the progression of zip with the drip, man. <laughs> All of applause, God damn it! I ain't hitting on that. I I can't hate on that. No matter how much, if I wanted to, nobody can really hate on seeing this man come from. Doing blogs in front of a on, on a couch, in a lamp in a mirror to now look like he's in a a, a, a professional studio talking to Tax Stone, which is an exclusive because if I'm, I'm if I'm not mistaken, nobody got the interview with Tax Stone after the verdict came out of him being guilty. You know, what I mean, he's about to be sentenced in June, and Zip with the Drip is the one of the first people that I heard of that has that exclusive, which means. Tax Stone obviously must fuck with Zip with the drip. If anybody that know who Tax Stone is, Tax Stone was up next. Tax Stone was the nigga that was supposed to blow up. Tax Stone, if he was never did what he did, would have been a multi-millionaire right now. He would have been up there with the Joe Butters and the Drink Champs and all types of shit like that and a million dollars worth of game. He was right there. But he blew the bag because of a stupid decision. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the facts. So now, now that I got that shit out the way, right? Let me break this shit down to y'all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an episode of Behind the Bar. Make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. For those that, that don't know, I never met or ever spoke to any of these gentlemen on a personal level. So this is all internet shit, right? Which means I don't have a a, a, a bone with the, What they call it? I don't have a dog in this fight or a bone in this fight, whatever the fuck they say, right? But both of these gentlemen have a mutual respect for me, and I thought they had a mutual respect for each other. So... For those of y'all, you guys may or may not remember, some of the new subscribers may not remember, but back in, what, we in June right now? I want to say back in like March, back in like March, I want to say about March-ish, we had Hassan Campbell and Zip With A Drip both on Behind The Bar. It was a great, dope, epic episode. It was right around the time where Hassan Campbell and Bullet Scotty fell out with each other. Y'all remember that shit? Now... So me and Hassan was talking and I seen Zip pop up in the chat. So I said, Hassan I said, yo, I said, yo, I said, salute Zip, salute, salute. That's the real Zip. Well, yeah, I checked on his page. That was him, right? I said to Hassan, I said, yo, you and Zip, how y'all doing? Because I know they had a fallout before, but I never really knew if they patched it up or whatever. I had no idea. So out of respect, I always ask my guests, like, is it okay to bring up certain people on the platform? Because I don't, I'm not going to ambush anybody on my platform without asking their permission for them to hit the panel because I'm not that type of person. So I asked Hassan, I said, yo, you and Zip, y'all Gucci, y'all cool? Hassan was like, yeah, he cool. That's my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I said, okay, cool, and I let Zip up. The crazy part about it is I'm still moving on with my plan. I don't plan on staying on YouTube. I'm moving all my audience slowly but shortly over to other platforms like like my Patreon. What, what, how, what's going on with you? You and Zip cool right now, right? Y'all squash y'all situation, right? I'm, I'm as far as with me and Zip? Yeah, yeah. I don't have no beef. I don't have no beef with Zip. Okay, just making sure because I remember a little scuffle, a little back and forth. But I remember y'all squashed it. Hey, yo, Zip, pull up real quick, bro. Pull up to the platform, bro. Yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead. I just want to make sure y'all was still, you know, everything's still cool with y'all. I mean, let me tell you something. When I got a problem with, with Zip, I call Zip phone. I, I, I speak and I talk to Zip on the phone. Right. You know, you see what I'm saying? I made a video. He made a video. Me and Zip. If I got a problem with him, I call his phone. 
Right, right. And we've been, we've been exposed ten toes down, man. Ten toes down was lying his ass off and pretending like he he didn't want to work with Zip and all types of stuff. And Zip Zip told him he didn't want to work with him based upon his loyalty to you. You know what I mean? And this nigga ten toes down was over there lying his ass off, man. You know I, mean? I just spoke to ten toes on the phone. I told the nigga because he put my address out there again, and I told him the guy said, "Listen, just pull up to my house. I'm gonna get in the car with you, and we're gonna drive off, and I'm gonna put your brains on the dashboard." Just pull up to my house. He won't. He won't meet up with me nowhere. He just be playing because uh -oh. he he know what is. We got zip in the back real quick. Let me, let me pull up the zip real quick. Shout out the zip. At the Bellagio, Balenciaga under the fur coat, Merlot. I don't drink. Got it for old girl. Oh, I'm dead nice. You niggas dead broke. Best flow. Coulda came home and made a meal on a furlough. Fat nigga lying. They say zip whack. Kick back. Me against who? That's a mismatch. Kill tracks. Niggas and get dispatched. The kid that flows a present. A law gave it to me. Gift rap. And niggas said I sound like done. I Good as they come. I was dumb young with big guns, running down ones. 430 yams, I bottled every crumb. Way before Nori made body in the trunk. I was drunk, riding around with the shoddy on pump. I'm the big kahuna, certified shooter. Like a lot of guns, preferably the ruler. Extend on that bitch, got it looking like a ruler. The coke chunk white, that's Albacore tuna. I flip pies, they call me Domino's Pizza. Last trip, coulda hit them bitches with the meat cleaver. This shit was so rocky, they say I'm so cocky. I'm from Corona Queens. I raised poppy. Baloney color beamer, call a paparazzi. All white bricks. Them shits is Nazis. I've been nice since night dropped a Rachis. Muslim with the Yola, that's so fish and hockey. That's a hell of an intro. That was a hell of an intro. <laughs> Hey yo, Zip, that's my shit, my nigga. Your hey, your yo. raps, my nigga. Fire, hey, nigga. Fire. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I heard you ask Haas like, yo, it's me. I yo, I don't, yo, Haas be beefing. I don't be caring. You heard? I don't ever care about what that nigga say. Right, right. Say. I just know what to say to keep that nigga talking. You heard? I don't be mad right. at that. And I think y'all together is way. I told man. you. Bullets got he was a lame. That's another reason why I never used to be pulling up. He's a lame. He was jerking off on another nigga platform. You used to be having him up. I'm not pulling up on nothing like that. When Gully dipped off, that time we was up there, I was kind of like, I didn't know why he did that. You heard? But now I understand right. exactly why that nigga did that. You heard? That nigga's a bozo. You heard? As y'all seen there, you know, homie was like, yo, man, you know, I don't be taking her out seriously, man. I be waiting. I be wanting him to clap back and this, that, and the third. And, then, you know, you heard what he said. You heard it for yourself, right? So sometimes I don't know if this is digital Hollywood or this is real. I don't know if this is entertainment or this is real. I don't know if this shit is beef. I don't know if this shit is lobster, goddammit. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? So I don't know. But we're going to break it down, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to come up with the facts. That's my job on Behind the Bar is to come up with the facts. Because when Zip said what he said, I'm thinking to myself like, hmm. Is this some digital Hollywood shit or what? Because I'm surprised. I know that Hassan is never afraid to clap back. You know what I mean? And I ain't hear him say nothing. I'm like, God damn. This is what Zip said, if y'all don't remember. It was a hell of an intro. <laughs> hey, yo, Zip, that's my shit, my nigga. Your, hey, your yo. raps, my nigga. Fire, hey, nigga. Fire. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I heard you ask Haas, like, yo, it's me, I, yo. I yo, Haas be beefing. I don't be caring. You heard? I don't ever care about what that nigga say. I just, right, right. Say, I just know what to say to keep that nigga talking. You heard? I'll be That's mad right. at that. And I think y'all He said, I just know what to say to Hassan to keep him talking, right? So, in a sense, he's like, all right, I'm trying to get a reaction out of Hassan. Not saying that this is orchestrated because I really don't think it is, but I think Zip is doing this, like I told you, as a marketing scheme to get Hassan to clap back. It's been over about 24 hours now. We haven't heard, as a matter of fact, longer than 24 hours because this is actually the second video. Zip made coming at Hassan. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, it's been some built up animosity that's been going on. Drama between them. And I covered this shit months ago as far as between Zip and Hassan. I want to bring y'all down a trip down memory lane. Because like I said, I'm going to be here for a while, ladies and gentlemen. 
Shout out to the person who uh, donated that super chat. I definitely appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I see y'all want a sober show today. Y'all want a sober show today? I ain't. It must be the dirty section in here. I must got most dirty section niggas up in here and watching me in the bushes. What up, um, Latin Pain? What's popping? I got dirty section niggas watching me today, my niggas. I ain't get one cash app, and I got 122 people in the room. Y'all gonna do me like that? Shout out to the one person who sent me a super chat. Definitely appreciate it. Drink is on you right now, my nigga. ATU Solutions, my nigga. You already know what time it is. Thank you. All right, it looks like it's going to be a sober... I can't even say it. It's like going to be a sober show today, goddammit. But it is what it is. Now, with that being said, there was a time... And I, I like to take y'all down a trip down memory lane. There's a lot of violations, according to Zip with the Drip, that he felt Hassan Campbell did something that he didn't appreciate. And, um... Zip was really vetting yesterday, really vetting. I mean, to the point where I was like, God damn, Zip, slow down, my nigga. You're going, you're gone too far now, man. You're gone too far. <laughs> they said the boy Zip with the drip gone too far in the bedroom. What happened to your bedroom? Me, me think said you and Hassan did a friend. On the, on the bedroom, on the bedroom, what happened to you? Eh? You never call him Adam, Adam name, call him Batman and him sitting there. What happened to your bedroom? Eh? Bumble <laughs> I said, God damn. This nigga went hard. It was nasty work. This shit was nasty work. Mm, look at this shit. Here it goes, my nigga. I told you, when you want to know what's wrong with somebody, get him mad. Get him mad. Yeah, here you go with that. See, this is the second time you did this sucker shit. Try to throw a nigga a compliment, but then try to like shit on a nigga in the process. This is the second time you did that. That's why I'm playing this. To make you understand that nigga, this ain't baseball, nigga. You ain't never getting a third strike at that, nigga. You already know. I'm on your hiney, nigga. Let's get to that. Yeah, I don't play baseball. This ain't baseball, nigga. No homo. We're supposed to love one each other because nobody loves us. So I did for him what people didn't do for me. I promoted him as the people's champ, right? Because I am, nigga. Because I am, nigga. You ain't make me popular, nigga. You lying, nigga. You ain't make me popular on Instagram, nigga. I was already lit on Instagram, nigga. You told me to come over here to YouTube. And then when I came over here, you had a nigga on your show blowing kisses at me, nigga. Let's get this. That's why that's important, bro. You can win a war. You can win a war. What are you talking about? What are you talking about you can't win a war when there's nukes out there? When there's all type of electrical EMP wars. Hold on, hold on, what are you talking about? You need 18 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, to yo, win a yo, war. Yo, what are you talking about? You talk for a long time, brother, and I heard nothing but hold catchphrases. On, but you just said I, said that I heard already. nothing but story I time catchphrases, brother. You just said I said prison already. time is over. We in the real world now. Your rules are that prison gate, that yard don't work out here fully. You can't activate that power range of shit out here. All right, so hold on. World, so educate us. So, and you acting like cutting faces. And salute to Hassan. Let me show some respect first to an American hero, Hassan Campbell. Brother Zip, you talking crazy. You preaching out, we can't, the old, don't follow the old nigga. The old nigga was all we ever had, nigga. That's the only nigga that ever gave a fuck about us was the old nigga. You an old nigga. That's what I'm saying, you don't know what you're about. talking about. The you old, old nigga. nigga. So crap. Oh. The nigga's mother is the old, old nigga, so we shouldn't listen to you. The old nigga's so crap. Get that project shit, that oodles and noodles the shit out of here. The old nigga gave packs. I support Hassan. Hassan speaks for the children. Hassan speaks for the babies. You speaks for the dumb niggas. You ain't speaking for the dumb niggas. You old nigga. Mouth away. What's going on in your mouth, my nigga, before you speak to God, nigga? Hold up, one at a time. Hold up, hold up, one at a time. Hold up. Yes, sir. Hold up, 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 one point that the brother, hold up, hold up, hold up, slow down, let's slow down, because this is getting heated up, and y'all both got some points, but one thing that the brother said was, that he has a point was, is Zip is an older nigga, and the youth have to respect Zip, and they have to respect Hassan Campbell, we are older niggas, so now, I want both of y'all to make y'all point, I want y'all to make y'all point. Son writing is that, that's all we had, the old times in our hood, the old times so crappy niggas, they would give us some game too, though. The old niggas so the old niggas took care of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. Niggas took care of them. The old nigga was a coon in the house, and he brought the books while master was asleep. He the nigga, the coon that brought the books and taught us how to read, nigga. You want to act like they did it? It was the coon in the house that they taught they, to read. They, he was getting raped. He was getting sexually assaulted, and he ate that shit. So you feel, niggas, can have a life. So you can see tomorrow, nigga. You are disrespectful. You are a fucking zip coon. Google that, nigga. Google <laughs> zip coon. That is Yo, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's keep, it, let's, on nah, hold on, hold on. let's keep it. Let's keep it respectful, bro. So the conversation don't go crazy. Now, this bro. nigga's a bozo. Let's keep it. Let's this keep nigga's it. a bozo right here. Hold up, 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 hold up,
Listen, 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 hold up, 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 I'm trying to mute him too, but it's that the screen is so small, it's not letting me, what I'm saying to y'all, right, no, no, listen, hold up, hold up, I want both of y'all, respectfully, one at a time to say what y'all got to say, because y'all both have points, every man of the village has something to say, you let the villagers decide who's right and wrong. Yo, how's the way you see what I'm saying? Came over, him in his face, talking to me like that in my face. I don't let nobody listen, talk to me. Zip, to zip, to zip, me. I zip. I, listen. I ain't saying that he wouldn't have spoke like that. He might have spoke to me like that, but I would have punched him in his face. But zip, but zip, zip, but zip, 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 listen, zip, zip. Zip, hold up, hold up, Zip, Zip, Zip. I never, Zip, I never met this brother. Hold up, 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 Zip, 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 Zip. Zip, I never met him. Zip, I never met him. I don't know him. This is my first time. I said, let me. He been, he been sitting here for. Let me go to stage, then, my nigga. Nah, listen, Zip, 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 hold up, Zip, hold up. My whole thing is right. That you pull me up on the show with a nigga named Bullets God. He got all type of smut on his name. You pull me on your show with a nigga named Brian. You yeah, that's what you pull me on your show with, nigga. Yeah, that's what you pull me on your show with, nigga, nigga, my. Yo, yeah, I remember that day. I had to clip that shit because I said, God, dude, that shit was crazy, right? Yo, he said he called that man a zip coon, and it kind of relates. I don't, I don't know if it relates, but a, anybody know what a zip coon is in the live chat? Anybody know what a zip coon is in the live chat? A zip coon is somebody, a white man that's dressed in, like, blackface. That's what a zip coon is. The nigga called him a zip coon. I said, God damn, that shit was cool. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I said, God damn. That was... <laughs> oh, shit. My nigga. <laughs> Oh, he tried it. And then, <laughs> then they got a zip coon song. Yo, I can't make this shit up. Hey, yo, they got a zip coon song, my nigga. Oh, y'all don't believe me? Oh, god damn it. Y'all gonna let me do this?
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. I ain't know what to do right there, my nigga. I ain't know whether to a sea walk or goddamn do the do like a yodel in this. Yodel, 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 Oh Lord! Mm-mm-mm. God damn it! Hey yo, who made that song? I, I I think the Dirty Kenzo made that song. Dirty Kenzo, you the white boy, you you the white boy that made that song. Dirty, Dirty Kenzo, it had to be Dirty Kenzo who made that song, my nigga. Dirty Kenzo, that sound like that that's produced by you, my nigga. Mean the milkman behind the bar is in the building. Murph and Kells are fucking BDB supporters. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. Oh. Now let's have a conversation talk, right? So Zip went live yesterday. And boy, oh boy, I said, God damn. It, it was cringy listening to it because it's like, you know, when you support two people and they going at each other, it's like, God damn. This shit is crazy. Um, but there, here's what Zip had to say. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. This is what he had to say. And we're going to break this shit down. This is a reaction video, ladies and gentlemen. For those of y'all didn't see it, I'm doing a reaction video to Zip going live and going. He went stupid. I ain't going to lie. The nigga went stupid. I said, God damn. I was like, God damn, Zip, no. Zip, no. He titled it. It says, Hassan Kimo Duck and Smoke. So how I'm perceiving this is. Probably. The way I perceive what Zip is doing right now is that he he is baiting Hassan Campbell to respond. He's baiting like I want I need you to respond. You done violated it too many times and I gave you too many chances. I need you to respond. Because if Hassan responds, obviously what it's gonna do? Bring in traction for Zip more traction for Zip with the drip. Hassan is a platform that when he goes live, he could get anywhere between ten. I'm sorry, but anywhere between five to sometimes I've seen him go up to 11, 12,000 people in his live chat. Hassan is still relevant on YouTube whether people want to believe it or not. That's a fact. Um, But we're just going to do a reaction video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, And we're going to have fun. And we're going to break this shit down, man. We're going to break this shit down. So y'all hold on tight, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on tight. And then Zip, huh? you know what? Let, let me play this real quick. And again, Breezy, thank you for your donation. I'm about to take a shot on you. Appreciate it, Slime. You a hater. If you would have sat down with a nigga that's been making videos about me. And Bullets Gotti been on 10 Toes Down program more than me. <laughs> Let's get to that. He was even on there beating off, and you had him on your program after that, too. Let's get to that. <laughs> yeah. He was on there beating off. And then you had him on your platform after that. I saw him camp tribal leader. He's from your tribe too, but it's got him. I embraced him. I tried to build him up. He jerking off the niggas and you still holding him down. <laughs> tribal leader. Let's get to that. Every single day for two years, not only does he make videos about me, he lies about my life. I don't care what he do about you, nigga. I ain't got nothing to do with me, nigga. I ain't got nothing to do with me, nigga. The same way. He did that about you, but it's got to make videos about me. Mm. You ain't never say nothing about Not only did Bullets, like, 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 he's the common denominator here. Mm. He made videos about me. He spoke ill about me. You ain't say nothing to that, nigga. Let's get to that. But I'm supposed to. Mm. Yeah, point. nigga. Know who you thought I was, nigga? Why did I ever fell out the way? Talking about, yo, you the DMX of this YouTube shit. Nah, nigga, I'm the zip with the drip of this YouTube mm. shit, nigga. Where did they get a load of me, nigga? Mm. X was X, nigga. Where did they get a load of me, nigga? Ten toes down became friends with him. I picked up the dirty section 05 who trained him, bro. I'm the one that introduced him to the internet. Share his videos. I ain't gonna lie. And that nigga Hassan be building up a lot of his ops, yo. A lot of people that turned on him, he built them niggas up, but they turned on his ass. Like, God damn. Not saying he built Zip up, because I think Zip. You know what I mean? He he gave Zip the baton and, and, and nigga Zip ran off with it. You know what I mean? Um, 
Well, let me see something real quick. Hold on, I'm looking for the uh, part real quick. I want to show. Hold on. Had him blowing kisses at me. Let's get to that. Fuck is you talking about? The title he's doing. Finish. You still was running your mouth more? Shout out to Behind the Bar. This is a Behind the Bar mashup. How did you make your way to Ten Tones Down Platform? Ill? The, the same way Bullets, bullets God used to be on Ten Toes Down Platform and you ain't used to say nothing to Bullets God, nigga. The same way, nigga. Let's get to that. 30 sections. That's how I knew. You just was like, you was a hater. That's how I knew you was a hater. You know what I'm saying? Because Bullets got him. Go on that nigga platform and then come right on your platform and you don't say a word. You don't say nothing to him. I go on a nigga platform, don't come on your platform, and you got a problem with it. He's talking about 10 toes down. Um, Bullets got it. Um, would always hit 10 toes down link. But when Zip with the Drip did it, um, Hassan didn't appreciate it. But... I made a video on that. I made a video on that, res responding like, is that disloyal for him to do that? And I, in my opinion, I was like, you know, I don't feel as though he should have went on there for the simple fact that at the time, Zip with the Drip was, um, and I'm about to show you that video right now. Zip with, I'm sorry, at the time, Ten Toes Down was trying to destroy Hassan Kimball by gathering up all Hassan Kimball's ha haters or whatever you want to call it to have them boycott Hassan. I remember that shit. Y'all y'all forgot about that shit? Hold on. I got to break this shit down to y'all real quick. Shout out to uh, Night Vision TV for the donation. Peace behind the bar. Night Vision TV checking in. You got a channel, bro? You got a channel? Let me know, man. I'll have one of my um one of my mods drop the link to your channel in the chat. Anybody who donates, I'll definitely promote them, man. Shout out to Night Vision TV in the building. Um, But yeah, in order for me to make it make sense to y'all, I, I have to break it down to y'all. I got to make sense. So... Zip went went on Ten Toes Down platform and Hassan had a problem with it. Y'all remember that? Hey, yo, Chad, right? If I put you on my YouTube platform and share my audience with you and teach you how to fish so you can eat on the YouTube streets, I only got one request. Don't sit down with my enemies. My friends... Don't sit at the table with my enemies. That's my one request. And with that being said, I done built the dirty section of YouTube. Now it's time to clean it up. If you think you got what it takes to be on YouTube, tune into my stream yard tonight at 10 or Hassan Campbell on YouTube. Let's see what you got. Let's see if you're worth being on Hassan Campbell's platform. It is what it is. Pay attention to your circle before they, before they hurt you. Now, Mr. Zip with the Drip, um, he's new to YouTube. He only been on here, I believe he said, since the summer of 2022. And he's making a little bit of noise out here, you know what I mean? And before I really get started between the two gentlemen this debate, I do want to say something real quick, right? And I, I'm going to make an announcement. I'm no longer on these YouTube streets, like, as far as when I see shit that look weird to me, as far as people being disloyal or whatever the situation is, I understand that they call this, they, they now call this thing on YouTube, the, the the they call it digital Hollywood now. I didn't heard, you know, another content creator go by, you know, and say that this is digital Hollywood, which means, like, a lot of these people are just really just, they, it's not really... Uh, what's the word I want to look for? A lot of people are using their characters, right? They, they, they get into character and they, they do what they do in order to, you know, uh, attract a particular audience in order to get subscribers, in order to get views and shit like that. And at the end of the day, man, you know, I guess I got to just chalk it up to the, the game. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is that um, Mr. Zip with the Drip, um, he, I found out about him through Hassan Campbell, right? And I, at first, as I was watching the show yesterday, I thought it was strange that Mr. Zip with the Drip did um, a show with Ten Toes Down. I thought it was strange. All right, let me fast forward real quick. I don't want to, I don't want to bore y'all to death. I, I, I think I have the clip of him on the platform. One second. I wish I would. All right, here go right here. Here go right here. 
All right. <clears throat> so when initially when I seen that Zip went on that platform, I knew it was like kind of a lineup. I think it was Ten Toes Down trying to, in a sense, cause a issue with um with Hassan and Zip. I know how. I know how conniving and manipulative. Ten toes down can be. So when I seen him on the platform, knowing that, you know, Zip is supposed to be cool with Hassan, but he was on Ten Toes Down platform, I thought that was stranger than fiction, right? And there was a man on there who kept on trying to get Zip with a drip to disrespect Hassan. But I need y'all to pay attention to this part real quick. This is really intricate what's going on. Pay attention. It's very important, this part right here. That if you miss this part right here, you it's probably one of the most important parts of this particular show right now on Behind the Bar. This right here is like the nail in the coffin as far as there was a man who came up with Ten Toes Down on the panel and was trying to warn Zip with the drip about Hassan and what Hassan would do to him in the future. Pay attention. Listen, this shit right here, when I, when I heard this shit today, I was like, oh shit, I got to play this on Behind the Bar. This shit was deep. Pay attention. Versus Mr. Zip with the drip. Let's get into that. Let's go. I'm for you because just like I'm gonna say, like Hassan put you in the game. Hassan a bitch nigga. He not gonna tell you how to keep in the game. He gonna get you stuck on one thing and then laugh at you when you fall. That's what he does. So he do that to a lot of people. But the thing with this is, brother, listen. Now your bro, I wanna cut you off. Like now, listen, I wanna. And you smart enough. Go ahead. So this old man right here, what he's trying to do is trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do, but he threw a shot randomly at Hassan, and Hassan is not the topic. First and foremost, according to Ten Toes Down, they're doing some type of uh, getting Hassan name out the algorithm for 30 days. You're failed on your first day, respectfully. You're failed on your first day because the y'all still your people are still screaming his name. These niggas should know better not to call him Hassan, according to y'all, right? Y'all trying to keep his name out of the algorithm, right, by not saying his name anymore. So this guy, who's about a 60-something-year-old man, is already screaming Hassan's name, all right? So he's trying to tell the nigga Zip with the drip how much of a bitch-ass nigga that he thinks Hassan Campbell is, right? And here goes Zip responding to him. I like, 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 like. Some of you trying to help me on the internet, you heard? Somebody trying to help me on the internet. And I'm saying, so when you say, yo, he right. a bitch ass, you do a lot of that. Don't he gonna do this? That's not what the nigga trying to do. The nigga actually trying to help me a little bit further than that. And I'm saying, I be trying to do, I was okay. doing this. The nigga told me, and I'm saying, the nigga told me. You face me, that zip. Oh, I don't look. So he sat there, zip, sat there and said, yo, yeah, Hassan trying to help me. He's the one who put me on and helped me do YouTube and shit like that. So again, in my mind, maybe I'm bugging. In my mind, Zip should not be on the nigga Ten Toes Down platform. Reason being is because Ten Toes is trying to do what? Trying to cancel Hassan Campbell. Make it make sense. So y'all heard right there, the guy was trying to disparage Hassan Campbell. And you heard clearly right there that Zip with the drip wouldn't fall for it and still defended him and said, nah, he's trying to help me. Nah, he trying to help me, y'all. He trying to help me. Pay attention. All right? Check this out. And remember, when, I got to play this again for those that just not coming in the room. I got to play this one more time for y'all. When when Zip went on the panel with... Uh, with uh, war that, you can win the war. What are you talking about? What are you talking about you can't win the war when there's nukes out there? When there's all type of electrical EMP wars? Hold on, hold on, hold on, what are you talking about you need 18 hold on, hold on, hold on. to win a war? Hold on, hold on. What are you talking hold about? On. You talked for a long time, brother, and I heard nothing but hold catchphrases. On, but you just said I said that already. I heard nothing but story time catchphrases, brother. You just said I said Prison already. time is over. We in the real world now. Your rules of that prison gate, that yard don't work out here fully. You can't activate that power range of shit out here. All right, so hold on. World, so educate us. Dying, so, and you acting like cutting faces. And salute to Hassan. Let me show some respect first to an American hero, Hassan Campbell. Brother Zip, you talking crazy. You preaching out. You can't. The old, don't follow the old nigga. The old nigga was all we ever had, nigga. That's the only nigga that ever gave a fuck about us was an old nigga. You an old nigga. That's what I'm saying. You don't know what you're talking about. about. The you old, old nigga. nigga. So crap. Oh. The nigga's mother is an old, old nigga. So we shouldn't listen to you. The old nigga's so crap. Get that project shit, that oodles and noodles the shit out of here. The old nigga gave packs. The I support Hassan. Hassan speaks for the children. What are you talking about? Hassan speaks for the babies. You speak for the dumb niggas. You old nigga. Malcolm White. What's going on in your mouth, my nigga, before you speak to God, nigga? Hold on. One at a time. Hold on. Hold on. One at a time. Hold up. Yes, sir. 
Hold up, 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 slow down, let's slow down, because this is getting heated up, and y'all both got some points, but one thing that the brother said was, that he has a point was, is Zip is an older nigga, and the youth have to respect Zip, and they have to respect Hassan Campbell, we are older niggas, so now, I want both of y'all to make y'all point, I want y'all to make y'all point. Stop writing his ass, that's all we had, the old timers in our hood, the old timers I want to say something, I'm going to pause the video for a minute. I want to say something to y'all, and this is a lesson that I even learned of being on YouTube as far as sometimes when you are the host of a panel or a channel, what you say holds more merit than what anybody else on the panel says. So basically, if you are the host of a panel and you laughing at somebody that gets disrespected, I don't think it's fair, but that person that got laughed at may feel some type of way. And I need y'all to pay attention right now on this screen of when um of when um Hassan starts laughing at Zip when Dupree makes a joke about Zip. And I think that right there was the first time where Zip really felt some type of way about Hassan, but he never really expressed it as far publicly, besides how he reacted on this particular episode. Pay attention. Us, niggas, but they would give us some game too, though. The old nigga so the old nigga took care of all of them. Not the all of them. The old nigga took care of them. The, 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 the old nigga was a coon in the house, and he brought the books while master was asleep. He the nigga, the coon that brought the books and taught us how to read, nigga. You want to act like they did it? It was the coon in the house that they taught they, to read. They, he they was getting raped. They, he was getting sexually assaulted, and he ate that shit. So you feel, niggas, can have a life. So you can see tomorrow, nigga. You are disrespectful. You are a fucking zip coon. Google that, nigga. Google the zip coon. That is Yo, you. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's keep it. Let's, let's, nah, hold on, hold on. let's keep it. Let's keep it respectful, bro. So the conversation don't go crazy. Now, this bro. nigga's a bozo. Let's keep it. Let's this keep nigga's it. a bozo right here. Like, no, hold on, 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 Hey, no, just get the mic. Just get listen, the mic. listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, I'm trying to mute him too. But it's that the screen is so small, it's not letting me. What I'm saying to y'all is, right? No, no, listen, hold up, hold up. I want both of y'all, respectfully, one at a time to say what y'all got to say because y'all both have points. Every man of the village has something to say. You let the villagers decide who's right and wrong. Yo, how's the way you see what I'm saying? punch them in his face, talking to me like that in my face. I don't let no listen, Zip, me Zip, 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 I Zip. What I, listen. I ain't saying Zip. that he wouldn't have spoke like that. He might have spoke to me like that, but I would have punched him in his face. But Zip, but Zip, Zip, but Zip, 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 listen, Zip, Zip. Zip, hold up, hold up, Zip, 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 I never, Zip, I never met this brother. Hold up, 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 Zip, 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 Zip. Zip, I never met him. Zip, I never met him. I don't know him. This is my first time. I said, let me. He been, he been sitting here for. Nah, listen, Zip, 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 hold up, Zip, hold up. My whole thing is right. That you put me up on the show with a nigga named Bullets Gotten. Yo, that shit, that shit was classic.